Hi, this is Sue Boy from Saigon, Vietnam. You're watching Hello Asia from South by Southwest. Well, Sue Boy. Hi. Welcome to South by Southwest again. Thank you so much. Um, last year, we saw your amazing showcase at the Brooklyn Vegan awesome. Day, and uh, we spoke to you then. Um, now you know, we're speaking again. Um, tell me, you're 2015. What what has happened in Sir Boy's world in uh, 2015? Yeah, well, I mean, mm, last year was the time for me to like build up the team for like actually, you know, now we can traveling together and do um, music and then meeting people. And um, I just released actually. It was this year, actually. This uh, just started the uh, 2016. But um, I've been working on like new music, new producers, some really young producers in Vietnam. Nobody ever heard about. And uh, yeah, actually, basically, I've been um, trying to uh, put up like song to song. Like I, I, I know a lot of people saying, "Oh yeah, you know, working on albums and all that." But I think this is. Um, this is a year to just release song by song and then video. So uh, in the start of this year, I just released a Dai, uh, music video, which is very new, shot in LA uh, from the favorite uh, director from Fader. Yeah. Can you tell us actually a little bit about that song? Like lyrically, what is that song actually about? Well, the song is um, actually tribute for, not, not tribute, but <laughs> I wrote for like an event. <clears throat> that happened in my family um, before when you know my dad as like the family man who like always working and like you know f getting money f to, f to feed the family and then build the house so um, and that one night this is like a storytelling kind of style and um, that one night there's like two cops coming into my house and they just like knock on the door like they want to check on the house and then uh, because somebody actually reported that my my house is not you know like a paperwork law thing I don't know how do you call it um, like to prove this is our house but we've been we've been living there for like the whole life and then you know just from my grandfather's give it to my dad and then so he couldn't prove from you know paper paperwork wiles that uh, this is our house and then he almost lose the house and then he lost his job at the same time and then he ran into bicycle accident oh not bicycle sorry motorcycle accident and so he had to deal with the you know the big breakdowns and but i think the humiliate of you know the man of family that failed to you know feed the family that's what you know breaks him down the most so the, the lyric is just about the story and then the hook mean die mean life yeah. meaning like it's just you never know you never know what's gonna happen it's just like now you have a house you have money you have you know fame everything but the next day might be gone yeah so so just just live with your heart like sống có cái tấm lòng you know that's what I say so. how long did it take you to write that song I uh, I wrote the first verse just in like one morning but then I have to wait for like a while like I can't say oh I can do this song in like one or two weeks or one day two days it's just like whenever it comes like so I, f I feel like I want to tell this story so it, so it took me actually just a day but it happened in like two months <laughs> you said you've got a few songs you've been working on and you got a few like mystery producers from uh, Vietnam. Can you talk to me a little bit about those producers and uh, who they are? Yeah, well, so this guy produced my um, the, um, uh, track. He's, he's like really, really young, just like 20 years old guy from Vietnam. And uh, his name is Hai Nam. Uh, even in Vietnam, people don't know about him yet. But I'm sure after they like came out, that like, people get recognized. And also another one, um, I, I I I found them in uh, like just my friend's studio. Actually, he's an, an artist and he owns his own label. And so I just come visit and I was like, oh yeah, I have these two producers. They're amazing. And you know, I I check out their beats and like, oh my god, you know. 
So, but yeah, I, I, I figure that um, we still have to work on the mix and mastering a little bit, but that's fine, you know, everybody have to start somewhere, but they already have a good taste. Um, let's have a chat about South by Southwest this year. You've got three showcases. Yes. Um, the big one, obviously, is the uh, Asian Hip Hop Night mm -hmm. from Mandu Entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's coming up soon. So, I guess, what's your thoughts about playing with some of your contemporaries? Yeah. From Asia, I, I get the chance to, to check out um, Core. I don't know how if it's right. K O H H. I really really like his stuff, like lyrics and all that stuff, because um, they have some translation and you know they're really cool guy, really cool style. Um, and then also uh, this girl she just did a track with Grimes, uh, Aristo Plan. Arisa plan. Yeah. Oh my God. Like this kind of like dreamy flow, like a. What? Yeah, from Taiwan. This is like awesome. And she's female. Like every time I meet a female rapper, especially like Asian girls, that like, we're all like this amazing. Because you know the culture is like, you know, as for women, we're like, uh, you, you're not going to be, you know, to speak your mind a lot and, you know, giving attitudes, you know. <laughs> and um, I guess uh, for the rest of this year, what's, uh, what's plans for Suboy? For the rest of this year uh, to release just new music because i've been like you know i haven't released music for a while but i use that time to like learn a lot and you know upgrading my music i guess so um it's gonna be excited because like new music videos and then hopefully i can do like a university tour in vietnam and uh, hopefully to have a show like outside of Vietnam. Any chance we'll see you in Australia one day? Oh my God, please have me in Australia. <laughs> I've never been to Australia. Actually, I met uh, Peking Duck last year. We played in the same stage in Da Nang, Vietnam. So it's awesome. It's like... <laughs> Want to give the boys a shout out? Oh yeah. Yo, Peking Duck. <laughs> this is your boy, remember? <laughs> well, last year you uh, opened uh, for Skrillex yes, in Vietnam. Um, can you tell me about the experience of, uh, of, of playing? The experience is more like to get to know Skrillex actually because he is such like down-to-earth person even though he's like you know everybody loves Skrillex and big in the world but he's like very chill and very like you know open to like especially to artists because he, he because i have the same struggle like in vietnam because um there's no real labels that like you know understand and then they can guide you i guess but i have my own vision and in vietnam hip-hop is still very new and it's hard for like someone who who tried to do it like you know outside of people's mind so he told me actually he did you know, now he's traveling and everything. He did everything by himself, and um, I, I think, I think Skrillex is, it's just someone who like sh purely make music and leave for music, and then just go out to the people, giving back and all that stuff. So, I, I learned from him, the, the way that he interact with the fan, like even you know, not on stage and on stage is. It's just too relaxed. Well, Saboy, so um, I wish you all the best for firstly your South by Southwest showcases. We can't wait to Thank see you. you at the Asian Hip Hop Showcase yeah. coming up on Friday. And of course, you know, your new tracks this year. And hopefully, we get to see you in Australia. We'd oh. love to see you down under. I'd love to come to Australia. We've got a lot of Vietnamese, you know, Vietnamese population as well who would love to see you perform as well. Mm. So, we, yeah, please come down. And uh, <laughs> thank you for talking to us. And uh, we, we can't wait to um, to see what comes next for okay. uh, for Saboy. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Um, hello Asia.